There we go. Look at that. Return to the green screen. Hey, look at that. Yeah, I'm super happy. Fancy. <laughs> I'll get a better picture, but... Oh, yeah, we... Works. Scary. We were, I, was, I was helping... Pillars. Yeah, I was, there, there's a... So, so... The universe has commercialized Halloween to the point where you can just get anything. So... What that was is from a Halloween party that I was helping set up for uh, earlier today. And you can buy, like, basically um, wallpaper. Like, like actual wallpaper or more like just, like, the green screen? No, no. Like, it's basically wallpaper. It's it's like a, like a plasticky material. Uh, and you just take, you know, like, but it's designed for, like, parties and stuff. Same kind of thing you, you material you'd use for, like, tablecloths. But it's wallpaper. Oh, okay, so that, like, yeah, yeah. And you just tape it up on your walls, and... And it makes it spooky. It, well, well, it's it's even more complicated than that. This wallpaper has a top and a bottom. So, so this is the top. What okay. we're seeing is the top. But there is, uh, right about sort of here-ish, Yeah, right where it there, gets darker? Yeah. There is a second piece. You can see here... Where it joins the pillars. Okay. Yeah. That's... Like, it's elaborate. Yeah. This is a whole thing. I mean... I appreciate that the universe is sort of understanding that there are human beings who treat Halloween like Christmas. And I... I marvel at... As somebody who doesn't really do holidays, I kind of marvel. Like, I don't even have a Halloween costume. I mean, you do. It's just not a Halloween costume. Yeah. Um, but like, I I, mar I marvel at the notion, and and it and it is. It's not an expensive thing. You just like you, you pay like fifty bucks every year on yeah. the decorations, and and after like ten years of that, you have a billion different things in your whole house. Like, we are decorating for a Halloween party that happens on Friday, which means. Those three people are going to have who live in that house are just going to have to live in Halloween Horror House for a fucking week. Well, it's like you're spending time in Halloween Town. Who wouldn't want to spend no time shit. in Halloween Town? Okay, so one of the things we put up today was a shower curtain with the shadow of a man with a knife on it. Okay, well, <laughs> like, I mean, as someone whose wife does a lot of murder show stuff. I was about to say murder stuff and I realized how that would sound. <laughs> so, I understand the appeal. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a hell of a party. I am working door the whole night because they're like, we have enough people that we maybe need somebody to actually like like to watch the door and I'm like that sounds like a great party job I mean is there a dog because that was what I would be doing no well no, then they have I uh, well then I wouldn't attend this party <laughs> yeah no I am also hang on serial killer actually spelled that way because that's amazing that's not. It's been done. I know it's been done. It's been done a million times. Well, I still like to see everyone's take. It's like Sherlock. Uh, I get paid in candy, Huck. That's how that works. Mm. I assume that's Huck. I can't. Yeah, I can't. Like, I can't see your, the color of your font in chat. Oh, that's true. It's, Could we like change the color grade to like, dark black? mode? There's probably is. Dark mode. Apparently, no. No. Can I change your chat color? Maybe, like, just regular quick? No, I can't. Get rid of this. No. Hey. Am I logged in right now? Also, because I don't think I can moderate chat right now. Ooh, yeah. So, one moment. Let's pop that back out again. Uh, pop it. Yeah. I love how you always start with, let's pop that out and then forget exactly what Listen, the thing is. Listen, alright. Despite the fact that it says, pop it. 
it's I, I was looking at the edit appearance option to see if I can change no that changes us. your color yeah oh wow on the other hand look they've changed colors again so it's fine. sweet great awesome yeah, anyway it's... let's play XCOM yeah Ugh. oh look at that return to the green screen <sighs> makes me feel really happy even though um, I somehow have again picked a shirt that is... Yeah, you're a monster. I, it's just like the... It's, it's gray. It's gray, but it's got just a little... N enough little, like, dark bits in it. Yeah, I think I've discovered that I, if I own... All of my shirts are some sort of green, blue, gray... I have a solution for this. ...thing? Yeah. What? There's a blanket on the back of your chair. I am not wearing a blanket. It is a million degrees in here already. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're going to start all over... And the premise for this, we're going to turn the tutorial back on. Do we want to go to rookie? Oh, oh we're totally... Oh, yeah. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's be rookies. Yeah, yeah. I mean, let's let's All be right. honest Mod with ourselves. Modifiers, do we want any, any of this stuff? I don't think so. Uh, oh, let's do the one that uh, doubles the length of the Avatar province so we're not we're just, racing on. We're just going to laser on. So the goal here is... Rich, we're not doing Iron Man. No. We, we would be um, here for, like, two missions, and then, like, well, all our soldiers are dead. I think we'll do Honest Man, though. Honest Man? So, um, Honest Man is, you still, you don't, like, reload or anything. Mmm. You just does, it just, you don't do the Iron Man thing. Because the problem with, like, the biggest problem with Iron Man is I've definitely seen Iron Man runs that get hosed because, like, something glitches out. Oh, yeah, yeah, And yeah. you're just, your whole save is hosed. Uh, the answer to does Rich want to watch people suffer is yes. Yeah, the answer to that is yes. Also, uh, if if Iron Man was the way it's supposed to be, you wouldn't have an option for it. <laughs> it wouldn't ask you. It's true. Uh, but no, the premise here is XCOM is a dating sim. I I want I want soldiers to date other soldiers. I want soldiers. To date their own guns. I feel like the most dangerous piece of information I ever gave you was that you can name your guns. Oh in my god, I'm so excited! <laughs> um, I'm so excited. I just want it to be boyfriend dungeon, but it's not. We'll, we'll get there. All right, we'll get there. Next, uh, yes, we want DLC. Sure. Oh, that includes all of the DLC. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good. Or the chosen, yes. Absolutely. Accessing the feed now. And yeah, I wanna, I wanna do. I'm gonna turn okay. ours. I'm gonna turn us up a, a little bit. Uh, let me know how the game volume is. But it should be pretty low. Even for Advent. But yeah, I like the story bits in the in the tutorial. Yeah, yeah. Having now played through it, it is actually really good. You're like these people are sitting in a in an Avenger that cannot move. We need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider, this is Central. Go. I think skirmishers are my favorite new faction. I got like all of them, but the notion of free advent and what that means in context. Wow, good job there, Skype. Just like being really assertive. Yep, just like multiples. Oh, right, multiple computers. Yeah. But I was like, how did you, just... why'd you pop on, on multiple screens? That is really assertive. But yeah, free advent does raise some questions as to what we're doing. Well, especially since Advent are, are like, composite beings, right? Like, they're not... Yeah, they're not... They're n it's not like, oh, you put a human in a helmet and you mind, and you mind control them. Nor are they aliens. Yeah, they're... human slurry put into... alien shapes. Yeah. You're one of those. You must understand. I had no choice. I loved it. And so the first time we, what we saw this, I thought she hit him in the head. You do exist. But 
I actually thought she just did. Where did she hit him? In like the back, that like the the, the standard like GI Joe hits you on the back to knock you out. Oh yeah, yeah. The wrestling knockout. Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here yet. So we'll we'll talk about naming guns when we get the chance to name some guns. Yeah. You, a, you left a body. You didn't cover your tracks very well. Hmm. Also, there's just a scientist knocked out there. He had an accident. He'll wake up. What's he gonna do? He's gonna, is he gonna be like, oh, somebody infiltrated? Why didn't you stop them? Uh, and then he's oatmeal. Please report to the nutrient bats. Mm, human slurry. Which, that's just the worst thing. I have to admit, the notion of, like, publicly accessible gene therapy clinics actually seems really cool. Yeah, if they weren't just ways for them to murder more people. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, if it wasn't an, insti an institutionalized murder system. Yeah. I mean, it's not even actually an institutionalized murder system. The murder is incidental. They don't really want to wipe out humanity. It's true. They're farming them. Yeah. They actually really, really don't want to wipe out humanity yeah. from what I saw of the end of this, yeah. but... Peacekeeping forces have we need made you. Peacekeeping. Yeah. No. Not all of you. Not to, like, the, like we, we need to fix ourselves and also face whatever chases us around, which... Perfect. I don't know what that is yet, but... Nope. XCOM 3. Yeah, Space Cthulhu. Again. <laughs> We're just... This is actually just the start of the Mass Effect games. Oh, man. That is, that is the best example, I think, for the whole, like, gun dating thing, though. It's like, when... There was a point when everybody at work was playing Mass Effect Andromeda, and they're like, who's your romance option? I'm like, my assault rifles. Mm. I spend a lot of more time playing, like, time travel weapons lab in that game. Where, like, say you save configure a bunch of guns and then check them out see how they work load your game reconfigure them I understand I spent a lot of time playing time travel travel weapons lab and a lot more of that time than I did uh, hanging out with my paramour who I think was I don't even fucking remember his name he was a shithead smarmy dude on that that rando planet no so, I haven't played Andromeda, but even if I had, I don't think that would be a good description of who this person is. He's the only rando planet dude you can romance. I see. Okay. Well, maybe it wasn't. He's like fucking Lando. He's Latino Lando. Um, I did, however, get to have the most awkward slow dance in the world. Oh, sweet. I met him in a bar, in, in a bar down in like the lower area, and we were, I was like, what's up? And he's like, what's up? And I'm like, I think you owe me something for slow dancing, except because we're, we're outside of the town area, I'm in my fucking space armor. <laughs> oh. And I'm just like, oh. space armor slow dancing with the dude. I thought this was going to be like the Mass Effect 1 and 2 just... No. No. Dancing. But no. no, worse. Worse is good. Space armor slow dancing. Space armor slow dancing is probably my favorite now. Alright, so. So let's move to cover. I know how to do this. Uh, I just want to get the, like, the cool cutscenes and stuff. Yeah. In position. I suppose we could have actually turned off some of the extra voiceover. We might still be able to do Oh, uh, we did. We did. This oh, is, we did? This is, this like is the reduced voiceover. Well, that makes sense. Because this is the just straight mission. You have to do this to progress the thing. Because I remember I, I started this twice uh, yeah. so far, and the first time I was like, okay, I'll follow your rules. And the second time I was like, but I know what happens. I know how to do this better. But your position but is they, all wrong. They didn't have to die, game. They really didn't. Keep to the shadows until you're absolutely safe. I'm better at this game than that. One shot one but, opportunity. I get it. The commander isn't actually controlling you yet, so you kind of suck at this. <laughs> I love it. That's that's the thing. Like, XCOM soldiers are like, all right, Central. I've got I've got my back to this vending machine. 
and and is your back or your front to the aliens? Uh, let me check. Uh, my back. I'm I'm. It's aliens, and then me, and then vending machine. So you know. All right. Uh, please report to the nutrient bats. We've got surprise on your side. It it was nice knowing you. I know your country because for some reason we put it on your back. Like, the first like, time when I wasn't paying attention, I thought he was like a foot taller than everyone else. Mm. And then I was realized he was actually just literally on the curb above. Yeah. Yeah, because there's a little like. Yeah. There's a little, there's a little lip. All right. Like there's a poorly so designed. So we're just supposed to shoot these guys? Uh, yeah. You, you press one and then you shoot. Oh yeah. Whichever the, one. The one it forces it's, you to shoot. The that one it's one. highlighting. Yeah. Like, in reality, I would be throwing a grenade right now. Yep. There's four of them right there. He doesn't have a grenade. Oh. He forgot it at home. Ex There's That's the other thing the commander does. When you're about to get on the Sky Ranger, the commander's like, Soldiers. Uh, yeah. Did, you, did, did anyone forget anything? No. Did someone leave a grenade here on a crate? In the staging area? One Without second. the pin? <laughs> yeah. One second. We lost another rover. That's why we have grenadiers. Grenadiers are the people who, 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 like, during the course of a mission can keep track of all their grenades, and that's why they get promoted to that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sharpshooters are the ones who see enemies first. Gren <laughs> grenadiers can keep track of their grenades. I appreciate the bravery, but you're dangerously close right now. Speak yeah. Uh, I, I'm specialists aware. are the ones that do literal nothing, and well, uh, rangers are the ones that shoot at stuff and miss. Well, rangers are the ones who are really, really into like ren fairs, but they don't exist because this is a terrible alien future. Ren fair and nothing. So, ren so they just get like, you know what? What if I carried a sword? And you know, Central didn't have the heart to say like we we live in the future. We have guns. Did you see our guns? They're real good. I don't even... I don't even think, like, Ren Fairs. I think Ren Fairs is charitable. Like, they were like... Oh, no. Who's a Anna? Anna Ramirez. She's gone. Damn it. You can't take risks like that. Watch your flanks. As the commander, I would not, uh... I would not have, uh... Lost that soldier. Uh, no. I would not have moved her up against a car. Yeah, also that. Cars blow up. I, uh... No, I feel like rangers, like the first ranger, they're like, alright, we're shifting people out of the assault category, we're bringing in new assault troopers, we're gonna call them rangers. You're gonna be faster, you're gonna be more mobile, we're really looking for us. Steve, is that a sword? Well, yeah, no, I just thought I did Does it make you go faster? Is that what it does? It's like, no, I just, you know, where, where did you get it? Oh, from my, uh, collection. Where did you get it to put in your collection? Uh, the mall? Where do you get yours? <laughs> so... Like, mall ninjas. Mall ninjas. Straight up mall ninjas. That... that fits. Yeah, like, every... every ranger is either a person who has a katana collection or a person who wants one. I just never believed it was true. No one wanted to. Oh, the first ranger was actually just one who had a really, really good katana collection. And then he just picks out the next ones. Because you know the first one's a dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and not only is it, a, is it a dude, he insists that everyone calls him Aragorn, only the O is a zero. There's like... Two X's on either side for some reason. One of them caps. I'm glad that you helped name our first ranger. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, just take cover against this car, squatty. Although, I think our first ranger is actually Kate, and she seems pretty rad. Uh, Overwatch. Yeah. Hit two, and yeah. you can also hit the same button twice. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. That, yeah, oh god, that makes life a lot easier. Yeah. 
Yeah, Aragorn with a zero. Uh, Into the building. Yeah, I'm just not paying attention. It's too busy. Everyone went to school with that guy. <laughs> three, you're up. Hold Everyone went to school with that guy. It's true. I actually didn't, but that's because I'm from at, a very small town. Yeah, we we didn't have a katana store. We didn't have a mall. That's the problem. We didn't have a mall. Yeah, if you had a we mall. need a mall. I also like that Captain Sweater Vest just hurls his body through a window. Oh yeah. <laughs> and you joke, but Captain Sweater Vest is my favorite character. Mm -hmm. Name a better one. Me. No, I like I like uh, Lily. Yeah, actually, I do really like Lily, but... Like, Lily and Tygen are super cool. I like them better than uh, Balan and Shen. From the uh, original game. I do like the implication... Original game. Yeah, yeah. I do like the implication that well, Balan was, uh, like, Balan just Balan straight Balan a mad scientist that we basically harnessed for good. I don't think that's true. And the reason why I don't think that's true is because if Valen had been so mad, she wouldn't have been complaining at me for the entirety of Enemy Unknown that I shouldn't be uh, shooting and, and throwing or at and throwing grenades at people. To be fair, that was because she wanted to do more mad science. <laughs> to be, yeah, that, she was the one in charge of all the interrogations. She was the one who came up with the idea of interrogations. It's like, I can do it. Yeah. No, no even problem. You see, do you see my German accent? And no, not here. See, you can see it. Wow, we're doing the whole... What? We're actually doing like the whole hacking noise, but it's not... Uh, did, game? Did you break it? Game... What did you do? And this is why we don't play Iron Man. Wow. All right. Yeah, we can't even we can't even escape out of it. Oh. All right. I'm gonna Alt Tab. Yeah. Let's see if that works. Oop. Oop. Skype wants <laughs> to improve my experience. Wow. Good job, Skype. Nope. All right. Okay. Just go back to our room cam for a moment while I figure out what's going on here. We're just gonna restart XCOM. Yeah. If if we were playing Iron Man, we would have already paved our save. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's why I don't do that. I don't know when the auto save would have happened in there. I'm hoping. Literally right before no, Skype. That's the opposite of what I want you to do. Please never do that again. Quit. There we go. There we go. All I want to do is improve my experience. Steam. I double promise we're not playing XCOM right now. That's why we're trying to play XCOM. There, there we go. I wonder what mods there are for this game. I've never looked. There's quite a few. Like, I mean, I know about Long War. Yeah, I have very little interest in Long War because I'm already... It's damn fun. Hmm? It's damn fun, and I have very little interest in anything that is damn fun. Oh, hard for the sake of hard? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, not for me. All I right. just, I love all the little fiddly bits. Yay! War of the Chosen. We right, so are pretty rad. So let's try and load our game from somewhere and see if we have like an. There an should be an auto save, save somewhere. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Game. Wow. All right. Well. Okay. We're, we're skipping the first cutscene. Agreed. All right. Yeah, so we've we got... Oh, play. no, we, we are checking reduced beginner voiceover. Yeah. We know how to play this game. Yeah. 
You have an extra right. now. It didn't even offer me Iron Man. I guess because I'm on rookie. We can still skip. Uh, oh, 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 there we go. There we go. There we go. Got there. Got there. Yay. All right. Okay, so we're going to have to do this again. But Do we even get new people? No, there. these are default people. Oh, well. I have discovered that. So, yeah, these two are always doomed. Peter. All of this has happened before, and all of it will happen again. But I'm exposed here. It's better than nothing. But see if you can't find a safer position further out. Looks like full cover ahead. Move it out. Crasher 2. Stay close. Keep pace with Crasher 1. The, uh, the first thing that goes through Rana's mind Double is... Time. Oh, this feels really familiar. I have the weirdest sense of deja vu. Second thing that goes through Rana's mind is a hail of gunfire. Oh. Of shadows. She had no chance. I appreciate that the two default characters you get are both people of color and one of them is a woman. Um, Except I'm, they get blown away in the first mission. I'm less happy about that, yeah. Like, I get your other character you get is a woman as well, but she she's just Irish. Her name is Jane Kelly. She is as Irish as you can get. They may have the numbers, but we've got surprise on our side. Hopefully that's enough. Not out of the woods yet. We need to take out those remaining soldiers. I've got the trap on them. I feel like, yeah, Bradford's like, Alright, use the grenade. Uh, we didn't bring the grenades. This is, this is why we need to hire an actual grenadier. They remember their grenades. Even without grenades, I would have handled that better because I would have Overwatched first. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely would have Overwatched. Probably taken out two in that first volley. And I definitely wouldn't move up here. I just shoot. Because I mean. Yeah, I, 55 I gotta, isn't great. 55 ain't great, but it ain't nothing. And I, I got hard cover here. I might move to, like, behind that thing, because you can get a oh, clear the shot. Oh, the little elevation? Yeah. Yeah, you can get a clear shot on the one, and then they're not getting around you to flank like, you. 55 to 63, not bad, but, yeah. like Not, too, not worth too, this positioning. Too open to flanking. Yeah. Like, just really obviously open. He says this is right before Anna dies. Pour one out. No, crash it to him now. She's gone. Damn it. You can't take risks like that. Watch your flanks. So that's how you want to play. Okay. Okay. I'm going to further advance on your guns. Okay, I mean, this is a really good this, position. Yeah, this is this is pretty sweet. I would have gone into the little corner, but yes. Knowing that I can double tap the button to do the OC action is super useful. I had no idea. Oh yeah, it's yeah, it's very handy, especially for yeah, just like attack. All right. We're almost caught up. Also, knowing how these works, I would just. Have everyone overwatch. Yeah, and just blow everyone away. Yeah, it turns out when you drop a flare right where you're about to drop soldiers, it doesn't turn out well for them. I have definitely done missions where it super did because I have definitely um, just not been in a position. Or like when the soldiers get too tough that you can't blow them away. Yeah, but at that point you've chipped away at them and then you can finish off whatever's left. Oh, we forgot to screw with the Avatar Project thing. Minus three, you're up. Oh. Hold up. Eh. Can you do that after the fact? I don't know. I don't know. You can escape right now. See if you can... Better. Red options. Gameplay. Okay, mm. I'm going to go it. Hmm. Almost maybe when you're not in the mission. Yeah, maybe. What is this? Oh, 
need. You can you can like turn off the alien hunter stuff for your randos. Yeah. Which is kinda cool. We we are at no broken heart except for ours from the game crashing. Alright. Shane, get your shit in there. Sure did. Now I know we're in the right place. Okay. Like, seriously, could have taken it. Well done. Fall back to our position. Especially since Bradford has a bullshit gun. Just go. Bradford has a bullshit gun. He does have a bullshit gun. What's he packing? A custom assault rifle thing. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah. Well, you can't actually use it here, but... Well, obviously not. If you... I don't know how it's enabled when the War of the Chosen stuff is on, but in the original with the DLC, there's like a special mission where you go into Valen's mad science lab, and he has to come with you. you ah. right Alright, so let's try and hack this again. They were never yeah. expecting anyone to get this close. There okay. we go. Yeah, yeah. So now we get the the thing. Yeah. Now let's do it right. All right. Yeah, Kelly, not a not a hacker. Yay! Got there. I suppose in theory we should have saved before doing that. Meh. Oh yeah, he does have some kind of like huge bullshit. Yeah, look at this thing. Assault rifle. Like I said, he's cable. He is. Yeah, that's a cable gun. That is totally a cable gun. This is the place. The only reason he's not cable, not enough pouches. Are you sure? Both his arms. I am just one. He doesn't have a robot. Arm. I feel like Marvel would sue, but still. Yes. Looks like there's an access panel attached. If you got me a better look, I might be able to. Next time. <laughs> also totally a cable move. Yeah. Let's get out of here. I'm the commander. I'll be wearing this uh, spacesuit for the entire time. No, no, you take off the spacesuit, like, right away. It's just... Alright, so now we... Press 3. Pick up the commander... I like this option too. What? Like just the general, you can pick up your fallen soldiers and take them with you. Hmm. If they're just fallen and not dead. And not dead. Poor Jane. My Jane survives. Or not Jane, sorry. Peter. Anna and yeah. Peter. He's like, I found this grenade in the staging area. Peter, Peter, did you, uh... Got it covered. Sure, game. Fire in the hole. Works for me. I'll just throw two grenades if you'd like me to. Uh, yes, it is bad that you want to see Bradford die. Yeah. He's, he's actually a really good dude. I recall the first time I did this tutorial being like, oh, and now she gets blown away. That's what I assumed would happen. But, uh, no, it's the... One must survive so that you can uh, promote them right away and get C done. Ah, that makes sense. Firebrand, this is Gatecrasher. We need an immediate evac. Get us out of here. I still love the ability to point around evac zones. Oh, it's real good. Like when you're going to all those advent sites, you're like, I'm going to place it right here. Keep 
all my guys are right here. And we'll just where it is where it is most convenient to me. Yeah, we will leave now. You know, with the caveat that not inside the building. Alright, so we're gonna evac. Especially when it did that, I was like, oh. Oh, was I was I supposed to get her there first? Mm-hmm. It wouldn't change the rest of the game. We just uh, uh, promote Jane, and she'd be the new Bradford. I mean, as much as I like Bradford, he isn't actually that important story-wise. Like from this point forward. Going into it, yeah. But forward is more like I need the military guy to bounce off the engineer and the scientist. Yeah. Carefully. There's potentially decades of atrophy to contend with. Wish we had more time. I don't disagree. But as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. That sort of was a glitch monster, yes. Yeah, codexes are glitch monsters. I would I would use that term. I love when we ended up like dissecting and interrogating one and still like we have no idea what this is. It's command it's, it's a thing. Commander, uh we uh we rescued you. Um, this is Dr. Tigan. He's about to dig in around inside your skull with a spork. Remember when all of our soldiers looked like fridges? Yeah. That's uh what's his name from uh Enemy Within? Shen? Mm. No, not Shen. Um Shang. Nice to see the thin men. I've managed to identify the connection. Preparing to make final incisions. Yeah, yeah. Just it's a thermometer. Getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed to be removed. You would know. Them. Risking severe. No plan B here, people. Oh man. Do it. <laughs> oh Jesus. That's that's not a device you want to see. It's time for your prosthetics, sir. I also question them putting the uh, fancy new mutons. So they just opened a gene therapy thing in Paris. Yeah. Paris, the city they clearly flew a UFO over and bombed into near oblivion. Mm -hmm. 20 years is not that long. It's a way to build bridges. Uh-huh. I mean, apart from rebuilding all the bridges you blew up. Yeah. Which clearly they have no interest in doing. To see you're finally coming out of it. Their convoys get ambushed all the time. The headache yeah. you must have, though. Still, can't fault Dr. Tygen. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. And you pulled it out from the front?! I'm, yeah, I, I was going to raise that question earlier, but, uh... It's also weird because we're shifting perspectives right now. Like, like, previously what we've seen from the commander is, like, through their eyes, and now we're clearly in a camera mode. Yeah. But we're going to go back to, like, the eye view later. Yeah, it's mostly eye view going forward. Go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. You'll be better at explaining them than me. It's damn good to have you back. Well, it's like that he has a combat knife that he just, just wears ass. around all the time. Alright, so let's go to the research wing. Listen, Tigan's the best doctor we could find. <laughs> the best doctor we could steal? The best part to this is, he's not a doctor. Of course not! Like, not even a little. He's a research scientist, isn't he? Yeah. 
Like, his, like he makes a comment his, doing his first autopsy. He's like, the soldiers are very happy that I'm testing on these guys instead of testing on them because, ha ha ha, I'm bad at this. Yeah. No, Tygen, Tygen is, to my understanding, like he's a medical researcher. He is not a medical doctor. Yeah. He, he worked in pharmaceuticals before this. Yeah. Found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, uh, we'll we'll be a better commander because the last twenty years have been man to get the shit kicked out of them. Yeah, like we're we're a military super genius, and by mili Even, military super genius, I mean we instruct our soldiers to not take cover behind things that are explosive. I mean, we are a military super genius, though. Even the aliens admit that. It's true. This is the whole point of what's going on right yeah, now. Yeah, we've been trapped in, in, in cryosleep playing XCOM for, for 20 years. In the meantime, Which, you might want to head down to the armor. that's such a great little Commander, touch. To the armor.